talk to Josh and I, we can finally continue. Hey Lene, you're just in time. The best thing that's happened. Lisa's home. That was a horrible southern accent. <laughs> Isn't it wonderful? Lisa finally gets to see Starshine Ranch and all her dad's hard work. I can't take all the credit. It's your hard work too, son. I did some things too. Thanks, Carl. Lisa's settling into her room right now, but I'm sure she'd appreciate some company. She certainly would. She's been a little quiet lately. Me and Lemmy here, we're going to show her around the ranch. I sure need the writing practice, but but she up and left her room. Why don't you go check in with her, Beatrice? Okay. Why not? And at least this time I know where the door is. <laughs> Hello. Hey, you fixed it. Good job, Lisa. <laughs> oh, little, um, what's your face? Good name. Um, Starshine. Right, I'm sorry, that's your name. Oh, I love that desk and the lights. Wow, you really fixed it. Oh, wait, you fixed out here too, didn't you? Oh, there's, there's, um, there's a chipmunk up there. I think that's what it is. Anyway, <laughs> or it's a squirrel, sorry. Hey, my boots, you stole them again. But she has a pretty cool closet. Some other things. She puts some felt with plants. Doesn't make much sense. But, you know, she likes that. <laughs> but this is pretty cool. She really fixed it from what her dad did. Okay, I'm sorry, but is there anyone out there that actually likes, um, you know how Star Stable makes their music? I'm sorry, but does anyone actually like the miscreants or however you say it? Cool photo. The Light Ride Festival of Aideen did that in the music that they made these are all songs all three of these are songs the light ride is actually really boring <laughs> Tra trail ride oh wait no that's not one that's just a random poster then she has a record some music around starshine plush in her picture of her with her horse her song did my dad tell you to check in on me he can he can be such a worry wart. Nice nickname. Feel free to take a look around. Everything is in its place now, but well, I'm still getting used to it, I guess. Cool, I did look around, <laughs> but I guess we can look around more. Bookshelves looking a little empty so far, but that will change when Linda visits. Look, she's already given me her spare copy of the Knights of Unistrea Magna. She keeps saying we should dress up as them for Halloween one year, but Alex Point Black refuses. Alex Point Blank. Eh, it's spooky season, not cutie season, she says. Well. A plushie of yours truly. The resemblance is uncanny, right? Oh, wait. Starshine is... Oh, that makes sense. Starshine's talking. I forgot the horses could talk. Again, how do I keep forgetting that? That's Linda's handicraft. She really captured the twinkle in my eyes and sheen of my silken mane. Quite the feat, if you ask me. <laughs> Beatrice, could you push those star cookies a little closer, please? The, the Christmas of an apple just doesn't cut it for me. Star cookies, an unmatchable crunch in every bunch. Yummy. <laughs> The squirrel is still up there? 
I, it scurried away when I opened the window for Starshine. Well, when he was butting his head against the window and demanding entry. I told you, Starshine, this room isn't big enough for the both of us. Hmm. <laughs> Where is the last one? Oh. I, 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 she kicked me out of her house. Oh, it's behind the door. That makes more sense. Let's start with this one. My trusty guitar. And it's a Martignagal. Martignagal. Six string acoustic in Texas Teak. And it's the most beautiful instrument in the world. We've been through thick and thin together. And though it's seen better days, I wouldn't trade it out for any other. That's my record collection I inherited from my mom. Each time I head to, into Yorvik City with Alex, I can't help but pick up a couple more. Good thing I have space for them now. Maybe playing a song or two would make things feel more homely. Okay, now I just want to know what happened to her mom. I'm not concerned with her room anymore. What happened to her mom? Mm. There's one more. I know that's a strange place to leave a banana. It's my dad's doing. We have an inside joke where we leave bananas in random places and see how long it takes until we notice. It's a nice try, but I can do better than that. I love my room. I'm so appreciative my dad and Josh's hard work. Wait, did they did this? But the last time I was here, it was bad. But I've realized what doesn't feel right. There's no place on the wrench in memory of my mom. But where do I even begin? Maybe I should start with thinking about how I've remembered my mom all this time. Every year on... Oh. Don't mind the sound. That was just an ice cream spoon. Every year on Day of the Dead, I lay down an altar of marigold flowers. Make three mugs of... Chapu! <laughs> and we'd sing my mom's favorite tunes. It's a tradition from Mexico that she passed down to me, so I'm gonna assume she was Spanish, and now she's dead. Maybe we could create a permanent shrine right here at the ranch, so there's always somewhere to go when me and my dad want to think about her. That's a great idea. I can help! Super Beatrice to the rescue. That means the world to me. Thank you so much, Beatrice. Let's do this. So, her mom's dead. Um, oh, I thought there was a spider over here. Okay, what do you want to tell me now? Are you going to give me more money? Okay, to build a shrine for my mom, we'll need to pick some marigolds to lay an altar and find a spot for the shrine somewhere on the ramp. Okay, I don't know the date, but I'm almost for sure this isn't the time for Day of the Dead. And why are we talking about this anyway? I mean, I, I just don't get that. <laughs> Okay, let's start picking the marigolds. Try and collect 10 flowers before I do. Okay. Where's my horse when I need it? Pick 10 marigolds, that's nice. There's a lost foal over there. Uh... Yeah, I have no idea where another marigold is. Here's one. Come on, come to me. She's just fast walking. I need, wait, did I finish? Oh, that's right, we need to collect 10. If I follow her around, will she give me more? Oh no, she's catching up. I know you can't see, but um, on the top of my screen, it shows me how many she's collected and how many I've collected. And right now she's one behind me. Where in the world is another mirror? Oh wait, there's one up there. No, I'm getting first, Lisa. I'm getting it. You can't stop me. How does she have seven? Well, okay, now I have seven. But, but how does she have seven? I wonder if I follow her around, she'll lead me to more. Okay, where's more? Am I supposed to be going out of this area? Because I really don't see any more. And it, the ones that I do see... What, how does she have nine? I don't even see more. Eh, whatever. Continue. As long as it lets me. Nice try, but you're not fast enough for me. The flower picking whiz. Haha. <laughs> That's okay, I didn't really want to do it anyway. I've collected enough marigolds for shrine. Now we have to find the perfect spot for the shrine. Let's look around the area. Bum ba dum bum bum ba 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 bum look at Frosty go. Will this work? It's very central, but the shrine would be 
that. But the shrine would be too in the open here. It's supposed to be a private place. Let's keep looking. I know what she's gonna say. Up here. I bet it. Because there's a grave or, well, rocks, but it looks like a grave. I think this is it. Look at the tree, the flowers, the view of the ranch. Mom would love it. Let's place a shrine here. Besides, it looks like a grave. Hey Lisa, are you feeling okay? Meet us back at the room, Beatrice. I think Lisa needs a moment. Okay. Wait, but it says... Okay, go. Go, go. Thank you. Get off the horse. There's my owl. Okay. Onward. On to... Um... Starshine! Dad, I figured out what, what we've been missing from the ranch. A place to remember Mom. Beatrice and I have collected marigolds to lay an altar with, and we've found the perfect spot to place a shrine. All we need is some meaningful items to decorate it. Isa, you're bringing tears to my eyes. You, you've got the sweetest soul. Mom would be proud of you. I have just the thing for the shrine. Our family picture. Let's go to the shrine and place our items. You too, Josh. We'd really like you there. Yeah, well, sure we would. Don't know how many of us agree with that, but yeah, sure we would. <laughs> Dad, could you tell us a little bit about Mom? I'm sure Josh and Beatrice would, lo lo would like to know. I promise I can speak English. Where to begin? Lisa's mom, Exumbra Marie Peterson, or XO, as I like to call her, was, well, she was about the most stubborn person I've ever met. And sure, as the sky was blue, I'd love her for it. She knew exactly who she was and who and what she wanted. I will always admire her for that. My XO was always so full of energy. Singing, dancing, laughing, riding horses with Lisa. It's still so strange to me that the most vibrant girl I've ever I ever knew is no longer with us. If I go on like this, Lisa, your old man will cry. Josh, I see that you've got something for Shrine. Why don't you share it with us? I have something for Shrine too. It's a stone my mom gave it to me before I moved to Yorvik. We picked it up and we used to go camping in Grand Teton National Park way back then. On the way back, I dropped and I cried all the way home. Wee, 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 all the way home like a little piggy running from a wolf. But then she went back and followed our tracks until she found that very stone. She kept it, vowing to give it to me when I really needed it. That was the day I left the nest to come here. It reminds me of how much my mom loved me. And that she'd do anything to make sure I'm happy. Maybe will remind you too, Lisa. Josh, this is incredible. Thank you. You've helped my family out so much, helping build Starshine Ranch and being there for Dad while I was away. I know how hard it is to be far away from your family, but while you're here on your back, I want you to know that you're always welcome with the Petersons. Thank you for coming, everyone. The things you contri con con contributed are so meaningful. The shrine is complete. Happy New Year. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year, everyone. Well, that was an emotional roller coaster, wasn't it? I'm glad there's a place for my mom on Starshine Ranch now. Ooh, I got rings for this. I always love it when they give you prizes. Thank you for all your help today, Beatrice. All this settling down has brought back so many memories. Before the ranch, my dad worked on offshore oil rings. Growing up in Texas, he would disappear for weeks at a time to oversee rigs in the Gulf. It was just me, mom, and our horses. Heaven. But then after, after the accident, everything changed. So basically, what she's saying is when her dad was away, it was heaven because he wasn't around and it was just her and her mom and she didn't like her dad. <laughs> Who knows if she does. <laughs> dad sold our Texas ranch and we traveled wherever work would take him, so long as it was far away from those painful memories. You can probably guess how that went. It all worked out in in the end. I met Alex, Linda, and Anne, and and me too. And me! Of course, Starshine. I couldn't forget about you. And then when things took another dark turn, you showed up to pull me back into the light, Beatrice. 
Thank you. Finally, I'm remembered by one of you, other than Linda. Destiny has a funny way of bringing you just the friends you need. You've heard my story, so why don't you tell me a little bit about yourself? What brought you to Jorvik? Well, I, I went to the app store, searched up Star Stable, and then I, as soon as it it was done loading and said play i pushed play loading screen came up and then all of a sudden i was in moreland with justin and he was and he gave me a free horse and showed me how to use it that's not true frosted horse oil told me how to use it but still anyway now one of the three answers the horses the adventure destiny destiny is the last name of one of my horses so why not i can relate it's funny but i don't think i've even even heard of Jorvik until dad said we were moving here. I didn't hear of Jorvik until someone brought it up to me. But as soon as I set foot here, I could see it in the stars. Jorvik was calling me. I wonder what Jorvik will ask of you. I can't believe things are finally settled. We have Star Trek Ranch now. Not just a place to rest our head, but a home. I haven't seen dad this at ease in years. And our family has even grown now that Josh and Pearl Heart are around. You should see Pearl and Starshine. They got along like biscuits and gravy. And like me and my ice cream. Your help has been invaluable, Beatrice. Bringing the memory of my mom to Starshine Ranch, it couldn't have been done without you. Thank you. I like to be remembered. I know what's not much, but I would want you to have this. Consider it a token of my gratitude. And 200 people XP. That's what I care about more than the rains. That's sad. Let's see what it looks like. Wait, why isn't it shaving me? You cannot equip- Oh, that's right! It's one of those, um, reins that can only be equipped on certain horses. It's, um, oh, okay, so the rein I- the reins I had on my Rune Runner is basically the same thing as that, just different colors. But yeah, that's gonna be all for today's video. I hope you liked this. If you did, subscribe, click that like button, and click the bell for notification. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. Oh, oh, oh.